afternoon, everybody, and welcome to RedHotLocks.com Report, where we make the picks to make you money. I'm Circus Dave. And I am Kimberly Sargent, and yes, guys, I'm back. I was on assignment in New Mexico with my better half, Rain Weathers, a.k.a. the future. Future. Randy Couture is now in his upper 40s, and he actually came out victorious over Vera. So, do you think he was actually victorious, or do you think they kind of gave him an edge because he's the old guy in that USC ring? Politics? No. Politics? Uh, there's, there's really not, not many comebacks for, for saying Tour 1 because uh, you get the Tour the first round, okay, but in, in the second round, Vera dropped Tour, almost finished him. So, really, fuck if you, know, and if you want to do boxing scores, that's a 10 8 round. He dropped and almost finished him. So you got you to get Vera in the second round, which they did. And then in the third round, you know, it was, it was back and forth. So Vera took him down and mounted him in the corner of the cage the last minute. Now, if Couture would have, because Couture never took Vera down uh, in the last later round. So if he would have took, took Vera down and mounted him, of course he would have given the round to Couture. Kind of unbiased judging, definitely, definitely, you know. I think Vera definitely won that fight. And now for that age-old question, boxing versus MMA. Rand, did you really think that MMA fighters can take on boxers? I mean, we just saw that Pacquiao fight. And... What is the no one says that anymore, ever. I just want to go on record. I would like to, I've already beaten up a couple of pro boxers. My opinion, they're right next to handicapped people. You know, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to say that anymore. For granted, you know, boxing is a, is a big part of fighting, and it's a, uh, man, you're going to knock somebody out and kick him in the ankle. You know, you got to hit him in the jaw. That's not the way. But the point is, it's a big part of, it's a big part of fighting, and I think I think uh, what I think happened is MMA came out, Jiu Jitsu was so prevalent, it was the boss saying, "Hey, hold on, we want a piece of the pie as far as this fighting game is concerned." But now they're getting their respect. I also think there are stepping back and runs in boxing and MMA. We should we should keep those big 16 ounce gloves on. <laughs> There's only one more race. One more chance to make money off of my NASCAR picks. <laughs> oh God, I hate this time of year. <laughs> He's back. Yes, Josh Carey and his white dog picks killed the book Saturday going 4-1 ATS. Be sure to check out the entire team because the entire team went 6-3 and three ATS last weekend with Aaron Smith, Mike Anderson, and my very own Circus Dave. Yo everybody, Circus Dave here. The NFL is on fire with underdogs going 15-1 and one over the past week. That's amazing stat everybody. We have nailed all the winners for you starting with my Sunday discussion column, Ross McLovin's Cooler Talk, Bad Brad's Bad Back Picks, and I'll say it again, Bad Brad's Bad Back. Got it. And Danny Weiner, who has nailed the past six, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, Monday night or Thursday night picks for you. Be sure to sign up today. Hey, y'all, what's up? Big James here talking about a little fantasy football. You know I've been writing for Circus Dave at RedHotLocks.com. You know that's working out. You know how I know that's working out? Because in the World Championship of Fantasy Football, there's over 900 teams, and we're third. Nowhere to go but up, brother. Nowhere to go but up. On top of that, we partnered up with the FFLGuru.com and 7 zonecom When you log on there, you're reading my words. Watch out. NBA and NCAA basketball are starting to heat up as we're hitting on all the cylinders. First, Aaron Smith and his analytical mind will be picking Tuesday night games, and Mike Anderson will be picking Thursday night's games in NCAA basketball. And of course, how can we forget Circus Dave will be picking all the winners for NBA Wednesday and Thursday nights. Be sure to sign up this week to get all the winning picks from NFL, NCAA football, tennis, NBA, NCAA basketball, NASCAR, and now my very favorite, MMA. Yes, guys, it is that simple to be a winner here at RedHotLocks.com. For Circus Dave, Ricardo back in the studio, Big James, Central City Tavern, I am Kimberly Sargent. Saying thanks for watching the Red Hot Locks report. And remember, y'all, stick with the service, stick with the cash.